Hey there, this is Ajin Kyajarya from Blenderist. In this tutorial, you will learn to make the frame and the glass for the dining table. So, let's get started. First, hit the plane. Go to solid mode. Check if you are in object mode. Go to the front view. Shift A to add a cube. Scale it on the Z axis. Scale it on the Y axis. Go to edit mode. Control R to add a edge loop. Left click. And then right click. Now go to vertice select. Go to the wireframe mode. Delete the vertices. Now select the vertices, grab it on the x axis, add a mirror modifier, and enable the clipping. Now grab it on the x Add an edge loop. Now go to the edit mode and press 3 so you can go to the face select mode. Now go to the word eye select mode and select this. Now double tap G to move. Now you will create a square over here. Now select the face over there and extrude it like that. Now enable the y axis mirror and enable and unhide the plane by clicking the i over here or you can press alt h in the object mode now over here click this eyedropper and select plane now nothing will happen first grab it on the z axis go to edit mode add two vertices in the center let's disable the y axis mirroring for now go to the face select mode and select the bottom face now we will create the leg Extrude it and then rotate it and then extrude it and I think rotate it and then extrude it rotate it Now add a subdivision surface modifier. Make the make the levels viewport to three. Go to edit mode and add an edge loop. Go to the object mode and shade smooth. Now enable the y axis mirroring to mirror it on the y axis you will have to move it a bit now if you enable it you can see that happens now go to the edit mode select everything and 
grab it on the y axis. Now just do that till it merges and add another edge. Now the mirror modifier should be below the subdivision surface. For that, click the drop down and choose move to last. The uh, mirror should be above the subdivision surface. Now go to the edit mode, add a vertice just over there. Now go to the face select mode and insert a face. Click I to insert a face. And your dining table is almost complete. Now you will have to add a glass over here. So to do that add a plane. Grab it on the z axis. Scale it on the x axis. Go to the top view and scale it on the y axis. You want it to cover the gap over here. Now add a solidify modifier. Make the thickness to 0 0.07. Put it okay. Now, this part is the part where you can keep any decoratives. So the main glass is above it. So to do that, select the frame go to edit mode go to the top view and select that face and extrude it now this will not have any curves so that's it will only be tilted a bit on the x axis so do that and it's done so your dining table frame is complete now make the glass now just select this one duplicate it and grab it on the z axis and scale it on the x and the y axis and align it a bit Now as you can see the dining table is big and there are some random names to the objects here. So we can rename it by double clicking the object. So double, so select the wooden flooring, double click it and rename it floor. This will be the main glass so I will rename it glass main this is the glass so I will name it glass 
this is the frame and done so i will now tell you how to add the materials now search glass over here let it load for some time so i like to choose the basic glass for this go to the render you can see that it's transparent now for the bottom glass i will select the same now for the wood i will select the oak wood it looks good go to the render now the dining table is very big so select the components of the dining table and go to the camera view and go to the solid mode and what you can do is instead of scaling it you can scale the flooring or you can apply all the modifiers first so like this and now and now you can just adjust the camera view here like that and go to the render properties make sure we are you have selected the cycles rendering engine and go to the denoising over here in the sampling enable the render and the viewport now go to the render view and you will have a denoised render so if you go to render and render image here you can see it is denoising the parts see it means that the noise that you can see over here it will get denoised and the effect will be clear so you can have the non denoised version or you can have the denoised version i prefer the non denoised i prefer the denoised because it has a clear view so that's it for this tutorial